And thank you for being with me today. This was a great Saturday in that we partnered with one of our local churches and we gave out food boxes and turkeys to thousands of people here in the Polk County area. And that was exciting. We made it possible with the cooperation of the community and Freedom Church over in Eloise to make sure people had a better Thanksgiving. But I want to talk to you today about a turkey that's a bad turkey. And as a result, this bad turkey is going to spend Thanksgiving in the county jail and the turkey he eats will come off of a loaf. This is very upsetting to us in that he's a school teacher. I want to introduce you to Sean Fitzgerald. Sean Fitzgerald is 46 years of age. He's married. He's got an adult son and daughter. But that's not all he has. We received information and went to his house with a search warrant in search of child pornography. Oh, did I mention to you that he's also a school teacher at Lakeland High School. He's a boys soccer coach at Lakeland High School. He used to be a school teacher at George Jenkins High School and a soccer coach there as well. Oh, did I mention that he was the director of youth services for the First Methodist Church in Bartow, Florida? That's right. His whole world is around young children. We served our search warrant, we talked with him, we got his phone, and guess what we found? We found what they call a calculator vault. This calculator vault that this man had has another password on it. And isn't it remarkable that he just can't remember what the password is? Well, why can't you remember what the password is? Well, I just can't. Well, why do you need a password and a vault on your phone? Well, to tell you the truth, it holds some stuff from an extramarital affair that I had. So our detectives, which are simply the very best, took that phone with a search warrant and executed the search warrant with some great technology. And as a result, we opened his vault. And when we opened his fault, we found thousands of images. Now, they weren't all child pornography, but so far, and I underscore so far, we arrested him late last evening and charged him with 408 counts of child pornography. Did you hear me? We arrested him and charged him with 408 counts of child pornography. We're still early into the investigation. At this point in the investigation, we don't recognize any children that he may be related to or has taught or has taught in school in the past. That's still under investigation. At this point in the investigation, we have no evidence that he was a child predator in the sense that he carried out illegal acts with children, but that investigation is still underway in addition to our child pornography investigation. So you might say, well, if it's child pornography, why are you checking to see whether or not he's a sexual predator? Research shows us that 85% of the people that are caught with child pornography either had or would have illegal sexual relations with a child given the opportunity. So we always check that out. But I underscore, at this point, he's not had any criminal charges and there is no evidence to say that he had inappropriate sex with a child. But that's not much comfort because these 408 children were victimized once again every time he received or traded or looked at these, this child pornography. We saw horrific acts. And the horrific acts were everything from children as young as 10 months old. 
that were engaged in some form of illicit, horrible sexual conduct as a baby, all the way up till the early teens. This is a, not only a bad turkey, he's a bad man. We've got him locked up. Right now he has a little more than $2 million bond. We're still working. We're only about 50 or 60 percent of the way through that one hard drive that he had inside the vault. So we don't know how many more charges there will be, but I can promise you this that we're going to bring every criminal charge against him that we can. Our school system is really an awesome school system. He is not an example of our teachers. He's an aberration. Our school teachers in this community are awesome. They make a positive difference in children's life every day. Please never judge all of our great teachers by this horrible man right here. After all, how did they know at school? He had it locked in a computer vault from even his wife and anyone else that might have suspecting eyes. But at the end of the day, let the word go forth that we are going to investigate him and anyone that's related to him that may have provided this child porn for him or to him. We're gonna search this child porn out to see if any of it was locally made. We're going to search to see if by some chance there are local children that are victims. All of that investigation is still underway. As you can imagine, we just seized the phone this week. And as soon as we got into the phone, we saw that there was child porn. We locked him up. Brian Haas is our state attorney, and he's simply the very best. Brian Haas will use all of the tools that the law allows us through his chief prosecutor in charge of these, Brad Copley, who's been investigating and prosecuting these cases for years. We will bring this man to justice. Our goal is that he sits in prison for a very long time. Our prayer is that there are no child victims. Our other prayer is that we can identify who these children are that have already been victimized. And once again, there's no illusion in our mind there's going to be additional child porn charges. Any questions? The uh, photos that were found, were they female, male, or both? Male and female children from 10 months to teenagers, young teenagers. But his entire work life and his church life was interacting with children and young adults actually, it's hard to call them adults in high school, but the reality is he was around children a lot. That doesn't mean because someone likes to work with children they're a bad person. Normally it's just the opposite. We're gifted with wonderful people that want to teach children, want to work with children, and this guy here is not the mainstream. He is the horrible, wrong example of what life's about. Anything else? Thank you very much. Take care. We'll be in touch soon. You'll see updates on this guy. I'll guarantee it. Take care. Anything? Y'all finished with me? I'm gone.